Now let's talk about a breakthrough that marks a historic turning point in India's aerospace journey, the Kaveri derivative engine D1 that has been delivered by the Godrej Aerospace. The Kaveri program, which began in the decade of 1980 with the dream to power India's indigenous fighter aircrafts. It faced a number of setbacks, but India refused to give up. Let's take a look at this remarkable journey of Kaveri engine. The Kaveri program launched by the GTRE under DRDO was originally meant for the HAL Tejas, but by year 2000s, it was dropped for failing thrust requirements. Instead of abandoning the effort, Indian scientists converted lessons into a new direction, derivative engines. This resilience led to the birth of the D1 dry engine now entering serial production. So what makes the D1 special? Unlike fighter engines, this dry variant is designed for endurance, perfect for unmanned aerial vehicles and unmanned combat aerial vehicles. The D1 has no afterburner, which means low fuel consumption, reduced heat signature, lighter weight and higher reliability. These features make it ideal for stealth UCAVs like Ghatak, Hale Oblique, male UAVs, twin engine drones and even auxiliary power units. On September 20th, 2025, Godrej Aerospace delivered the first serial production unit proving India can scale engine manufacturing. This delivery also shows how India's private sector is becoming a major player in the Indian aerospace ecosystem. Godrej Aerospace began in the year 2010s with small modules like the turbine blades and casings. Today, it has matured into a full-fledged engine manufacturer. It partners with GTRE, is a model for public-private collaboration in defense modernization. But the D1 is just the start. A full roadmap of D2, D3, D4 and D5 lies ahead. In year 2026, the D2 or the D3 will undergo endurance trials for 150 hours under simulated high altitude conditions. Then the D4, D5 will be put through the qualification trials for 3 to 500 hours. In short, they will be put under the extreme stress test. India is also developing an after-burning Kaveri derivative with Safran for fighters like Amka Mark II and Ted BF. This is not just about engineering. The Kaveri derivative also shifts India's strategic balance. The Kaveri derivative engines give India an unprecedented strategic autonomy that translates to less reliance on GE and Safran. On the China front, it would be narrowing the gap with WS-10 and WS-13. Besides, it will have great export potential, UCAPs with indigenous engines can be sold freely, and India as a global south leader could provide affordable defense technology for Asia, Africa and the Latin America. So as the skies ahead begin to carry the sounds of engines built at home by India, for India, the Kaveri D1 is not just an engine, it's a statement of India's persistence, innovation and independence.